Is it the best time to buy cryptocurrency despite the correction? Well, that's what Wise Ratings believes. So we're going to be looking at Generation Bitcoin. A bit of a news about Binance margin trading and that's about it. I'm Kieran from CryptoBoost and I'm happy to have you here with me today. Some, some uh, fantastic news and interesting insight into adoption. Now, Weiss Ratings claims now is the time to buy despite the correction. So as with everything, even though this is interesting, please don't take this as financial advice. This is just Vice Ratings opinion and I'm sharing that with you. So Vice Rating has tweeted out that the current technical setup of Bitcoin presents the best purchasing opportunity for investors since 2015. Even though at the moment the market is uncertain, we don't know if it's going up or down, many of investors, and that's why it's been trading sideways. Now, the popular rating organization have based their assessment on an analysis from their main analyst, Juan Villaverde. And our chief crypto analyst, Juan Villaverde, predicts Bitcoin correction and the best buying opportunities since 2015 are upon us. Here are the juicy details and he's got a telegram link and so on. So according to Villa Verde, a similar price action occurred in both 2012 and 2015. In January 2012, for instance, after Bitcoin has rallied to $7 per token from its bottom of $2 just months earlier, Bitcoin suffered a 45 correction down to about $4, but that was launching pad for a bull run that would take Bitcoin into four digit territory for the first time in its history, hitting a high of almost thousand two hundred dollars by to december 2013. now it's interesting but you have to keep in mind that past price action is not a prediction for future price growth or price dumps so that's something you have to keep in mind but it's interesting to see what kind of um insight is bringing to us investors will most likely be worried about whether history will rhyme as a face past performance is not indicative of future results comes to mind. Villa Verde addresses his valid concern by pointing out that Bitcoin's fundamentals have improved significantly over the past year and the fact that Bitcoin usage is near all time highs with daily transaction volumes nearly reaching levels not seen since late 2013, uh, 2017 is encouraging. So yeah, of course the, the, the transaction volume is massive and that's very bullish sign. The more adoption there is, the more transaction there'll be. And that's a very bullish uh, signal. According to him, Bitcoin's 24-hour transaction volume recently reached a 2019 high of 450,000 and a previous all-time high occurred on December 13, 2017, just a few days before prices reached to uh, 20,000. So in his opinion, because of this correlation of uh, transaction volume, he believes that we're just right in front of a Nick's bull run. I have my doubts, but that's his opinion. I am very bullish, but I don't think it's going to happen as fast as he predicts. On top of this, Vice highlights highlighted that fees on the Bitcoin network remain at their lowest level since August 2017. And that's very good because there was one high criticism aspect of Bitcoin, the high fees. And since they're very low at the moment, and that's that encourages more transactions and also payments to be done using Bitcoin. In the end, Villaverde encourages traders to focus on being optimistic and reiterated that the most recent major rally confirmed the beginning of a bull market. Interesting point of view that he's got. I'm not going to go too much into it. It, it like, like with everything, you have to take these things um, subjectively and and realize that no one's got uh, Chris about this in the future and many people will be throwing around numbers and time frames of when the next bull market is going to happen. I'm very bullish but I think it's going to be difficult to to predict the um, the short-term market events. It's possible that we see a correction. It's possible that we manage to break through the next resistance of a thousand US dollars. But on the long term, I am definitely a massive bull. So talking about bulls generation, the new generation Bitcoin are definitely bulls. And generation Bitcoin, 90% of millennials prefer crypto to gold. Is uh, that's an ETF expert that said that by 
The US investing industry stands on the precipice of a dramatic upheaval that could see Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency assets replace gold in investor portfolios. Now, of course, many people are expecting a financial crisis to happen and investors in those assets are definitely going to be looking for other asset classes to diversify or actually move move a larger portion of their traditional assets to now now cryptocurrency is probably going to be a new asset class that is actually going to be considered the more people respect it as a valid asset class according to nate gerasi president of the etf store an independent investment advisor he revealed in a bloomberg interview that his millennial clients are clamoring clamoring to hold bitcoin in their portfolios if only sec would let them Crypto in a landslide, ETF experts as millionaires plan to kick gold to the curb. Now it would be interesting to see what kind of sample analysis and how many millennials he actually asked, but I'm not sure if we have this information afterwards. Responding to a question from Bloomberg analyst Eric Baljunas about whether he would ever invest client funds in a Bitcoin ETF. Gerasi stunned his fellow panel members when he said that millennial investors overwhelmingly desire to hold Bitcoin instead of traditional assets like gold. How overwhelming? We're around 90%. When we talk to our younger clients, we have a core gold allocation in our portfolios and they'll ask about that and say, what about crypto? And if you talk to primarily millennials and ask them which they prefer, Bitcoin or gold, it's a landslide. It's not even close. It's like 90% prefer Bitcoin. In April, a Harris Post survey found that 18 to 13 year olds are very or somewhat likely to purchase Bitcoin within the next five years. That might not seem overwhelming, overwhelmingly a, lo- a large amount, but consider that only 37% of Americans in that demographic currently even own stocks. So it's very bullish especially on a time frame of five years and then many things can happen in the time frame of five years hopefully until then the next bull run has happened so similarly a february eToro survey found that 43 percent of millennials trust crypto exchanges more than stock exchanges even though crypto trading platforms ha- hacks dominate the mainstream news cycle and one reason i believe that new millennials like crypto exchanges is the low barrier to entry so in in the crypto space you can with uh, even a small amount 50 50 us dollars even actually 20 us dollars you send that to a cryptocurrency exchange you can already learn a, a lot about uh, buying <laughs> uh, buying the lows selling the highs and uh, and learn a little bit about charting with already small amounts and that's probably not as easy to do in the traditional stock market with much higher fees especially if you've not got a a day trading account and so on and it it makes things a lot easier for millennials to enter into this market and that's probably why they are they they prefer it more to traditional stock markets they see the easier barrier to entry and note garasi further pointed to the success of the 1.5 billion dollar bitcoin investment trust otc as proof that there is sufficient market demand for a crypto etf he noted that over-the-counter product regularly trades at a staggering premium to the underlying value of its btc assets and that's because gbtc shares fluctuate based on supply and demand not just the price of bitcoin an etf he said would flatten that premium and thus reduce investor risk it's interesting and yeah, I, I believe the more the more people are interested in investing in Bitcoin, especially millennials, since they are more open to new asset classes as they have not been um, um, interested in, in older uh, traditional asset classes. Now, on other news, talking about Binance, I've got some very, very promising news, and that is something that cz from binance shared and he jokes around with the dark mode or light mode but actually the funny thing is when you click on this yeah you can see down here you've got normal exchange and what appears to be a tab for margin trading and i'm looking forward to this especially since the yeah the problems that we've been hearing with bitfinex and tether i've 
I'm not too fan of BitMEX, so I can't wait for a margin trading opportunity on Binance. However, but, uh, just, just so that you know, margin trading is definitely a much, much riskier investment uh, trading tool than long-term just normal investment and holding your cryptocurrency. So just, just be aware of that. They also mentioned that margin trading confers even a, a higher profit potential. There's also a lot more risk attached to it. Your position can be liquidated. But it's a very useful tool, especially when the market is going down. And yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm very happy that they're going to be implementing margin trading. We don't have a date, but uh, I'll inform you as soon as we know that. So Binance, the world's most prominent crypto exchange, says it is close to adding a much anticipated margin trading feature to its service following weeks of speculation. The company tweeted confirmation of the upcoming feature a screenshot which subtly teases the imminent arrival of margin trading options. So I'll be posting a video as soon as it comes out, going through all the features of margin trading and looking at what options you've got. I hope they've got tra trailing stop and different other uh, super, super duper trading, margin trading tools in their margin trading um, Pano. So I'll follow up on this as soon as I've got more information, but I'm super pumped on this information, this news. And yeah, that's about it. So that was it for today. And I hope you can enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend and see you on the next one. Bye bye.